Hi, Tony there in Village, California. Okay, the homeless situation right now, a lot of the homeless people are getting motels, the ones that need help, the ones that are good people. But there's a lot of problems right now with the mentally ill. They've been going into hotels, but coming right back out. What do you do with the mentally ill? It's like somebody's dumped the mentally ill off at Venice. It's been bad. Uh, L.A. County Sheriff's has been hitting the streets of Venice, and uh, their whole thing now is a uh, crime that they will uh, stop and frisk you put you in a police car, basically violating your rights. And they're here, so be careful out there, everybody. LAPD is doing their job. But uh, the homeless encampment, the big day is Friday, and I should be back at LAX hopefully in a week. You know, you can always drop a donation in my PayPal. Help me help me stay out here for another, another week. So here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so what happened? Okay, hang on. Okay, can you tell me your name? Kenneth Nelson. Kenneth Nelson. Kenneth, so what happened? This was last night? Uh, last night I was cleaning up, getting ready to, uh, you know, put stuff away from all day yesterday, our music equipment and all that. And it's a, that's our big job of its own. Uh, let alone have to be rushed out at midnight when the cops came up to me, asked me for my identification so they can write down that I, they handed me a flyer or, or told me what to do. They okay, what did, me, wait a minute, what did the cops hand you? They hand, Show me. They handed me this this uh, housing options uh, resumption of normal operation. Resumption of normal operation. Okay. At Venice Beach, please read. Okay, all right. And then okay. what did the cops say to you? This was handed to me at 12 midnight, and they told me that the sanitation crew will be here starting at 2 o'clock. They will be coming from Park Avenue, through here, all the way, all the way to Ozone. Actually, they told me they were starting off roads and going straight through here. Uh huh. And then what is to Ozone, and then that was it. And they did come. But they didn't start here. What 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 else? What do you got in your hand? That you got another it, flyer? It, this came during the day of, in the in late afternoon. Uh, the people from housing were asking me if I would. Uh, be able to leave my stuff here and be able to jump in a moment to go to housing somewhere. And I asked them where would, they, where would they be sending us and they didn't give me an answer. I said, I can't leave this place right here. This is where I'm from. This is where I work. I play for a restaurant. They, uh, they asked me every time I leave to come back here. And I've been back here two, three times now. Okay, so what happened last night after so midnight? After midnight, that's, uh, well, I was in a rush to get everything I owned up the hill to in back at the restaurant. They're allowing me, because I have no vehicle, to haul my stuff up, uh, up to a storage or another house or somewhere. So I push it into the back a couple parking spots, and then in the morning I bring it back out. Okay, um, but they, you weren't done. But I wasn't done at 2 o'clock in the morning when I saw the lights coming, it was 3.45, 4 o'clock in the morning when I saw the lights coming, the yellow ones, and that panicked me because I thought they were already through for the night, but they weren't, and they started coming this way, and then they stopped around the parking lot out in there, that's Park Avenue, correct? The big parking lot that goes Sunset. up the hill, and they stopped right about there, they were sitting around there for a while, I went down there to ask them, hey, what are you guys doing? So can you give me a time? Are you guys coming or not? So I'm not uh, getting a little bit of sleep. And um, they didn't answer me. They would just close their doors and they weren't doing any pickup at that time. Uh, although I heard from others that were living in that area that they did come by and uh, threaten one lady to five minutes and you that's all you have and we're hauling and they hauled off all this stuff. I hope you find that lady and help her out because that's pretty, really, really, totally out of the out of the law's range for them to be making choices for that for that that option. Five minutes and then that's all you get. Okay, they so just woke they, up. They just they just uh, woke people up up here with all the cops. Yeah. They didn't take the sanitation. Didn't come. Well, nope, they didn't. But come they just here. went down the street and got everybody. They went down the street. They showed up at three. They weren't even here yet when the cops came. Uh -huh. They weren't even in line or nothing. There was nothing down there. But sanitation came but around the cops three. Came, yeah, the cops. They came around three thirty four. I see that. Okay. And they started coming this way, and I was panicking. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they stopped, so I went down there. 
Okay. And they wouldn't answer any questions. Okay, we're going to go check people out down there. Can you take my notebook from here? 
You up if you take that man anywhere.
Mira, por ejemplo, los proveedores son dos pueblitos, bro. Que los más vean y se hagan y que los tiren nadie. O sea, enfrente de los proveedores. ¿Cómo estás? This is a big homeless encampment over here. They came like three o'clock in the morning and cleared it out. So they're getting sneaky now, they're coming late hours. This is this Peggy Lee Kennedy interviewing people for the lawyers. This is a huge encampment over here, and uh, it cleaned it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm videotaping right now. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Amanda Rivers, which was John Bede Ramsey at one time. <laughs> okay, Amanda Rivers. Okay. All right, so could you... We're here at the Pagoda and uh, Park Avenue and Oceanfront Walk. Uh, could you tell me what happened last night and early this morning? Um, last night there was a lot of chaos, a lot of people coming through, uh, maybe one to five people with maintenance, two to five with sanitation, and three with DHS, though I'm not sure what their issue was here. Um, five people were displaced, three lost their homes, four lost their tents, and I'm still sitting here with a bone condition until I can get to an appropriate source to clear for me. So they didn't clear you out because you have a broken foot? I think that's why the, the issue is still kind of like withstanding because I have bone dysplasia. Oh. And that's a little different to move on a regular basis. So. Okay, so they, was the LAPD here? Um, LAPD was not that I could understand. They did say that there were police here, but I wasn't sure which department they were. And were there big sanitation trucks? Yes, there were about four to five trucks and one dump truck. A big dump truck? Yep. The, the green kind? Um, I think it's white with green, yes. White with green. Uh, BWI, I believe. Okay, and so uh, approximately what time did they come out here? They approximately showed up about 12.45 and then again at 2.45. Were you given prior notice that they were going to do this? Not prior notice as in written. I gave them the notice that this was, um, as I understood, a safe zone. It's also a place where homeless people come when they can't go anywhere else. And then a place where they can get help because of clinics. Right. So. so they didn't post a notice that they were going to take you out? No. The notice was posted about two weeks ago, and I told them this is a safe zone. If they're not ready to integrate yet, you can't do that. They need time. 
Right. And then time is like the issue with this because there's probably some issue below me, so. All right. Okay. What? I'm sorry. What's your first name again? Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Is it okay if I use this video interview of you? Yes. You can use it anywhere you need to. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry about your foot. Well, I'm glad they didn't actually. Sorry, like all being weird on camera. Like, look at this bin. <laughs> ah, it's cute, but. Uh, so, but the, I'm glad they didn't make you move with a hurt foot and you didn't lose your stuff. I got kicked a few times, but that's all right. You got kicked? They'll come and like just, boom, slam your tent a few times to see if you're in there. Oh. But they don't like check to see if your head is in that spot. <gasps> <so>. <laughs> uh, where did you get kicked? Oh, man. I'm sorry. Wow, that's messed up. Wow. Thank you for asking them. I'm sorry, I wish I would have known and been here for you. Love you here. Hi. Looking beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.
Man, I was out here for years. I've seen the people that have had the money and designated the funds to help the homeless not do what they were supposed to do until attention was brought to it in a negative way to where they showed the callousness of the, of the people and how they were treating the homeless. And now that they got organizations that are finally using the money to house them, look at all the places that they can house people to, to clean up this homeless mess. And they found you a place, right? And they found me a place. Are you, are you happy there? I'm happy. Of it's for six months, and then, uh, in the and meantime, then, I'm, in the meantime, we're looking for. I guess they help me with apartments. Yeah, help me with getting to get my life together, man. I mean, to get off the street, if you wouldn't even know until I told you, you wouldn't even know. Yeah, I just stopped and said you look good, few man. words, you know, and let you know, hey, man, I know I used to sleep right there. Wow. <laughs> Man, in a tent. So I know all of what these guys and what they go through. I hear the howling and screaming at night. I hear the, the sex at night over here in the sand. I hear that. I mean, you don't know what you know, we go through. I hear the musicians try to make money to survive out here. In yeah, watch out. Poor our man. You know, I didn't been through it all, man. You find the hotel they gave you. They gave me on 6th and Lincoln. I mean, on Lincoln and, 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 and Venice. At By the, McDonald's. Yeah. Okay, so, but. Uh, yeah, I got out the streets, praise the Lord. Like, I, I, I just got put out of a drug, a substance abuse drug program. Wow. And what happened was I had, uh, you know, I had relapse. And, and so, but, you know, I still shouldn't, but they put me out anyway. So I came back to the beach, slept over there, right over here. And then, um, and then, um, and then about a day and a half, and I seen the St. Joseph people walking, people walking and talking. So I wanted to know what was going on. So I went over there and finally asked them, can they help me with housing? They said, yeah, we can put you somewhere right now. Okay, he got hit by a speaker. I overheard the fireman tell the other fireman. Peggy! Peggy! Good.
think he has a place to stay and we're taking her to housing. This is St. Joseph Center. They find a lot of people in hotels. And uh, she has one. Here, Peggy. Well, I don't know. It looks like they might be taking people in some van. No, the, van. the lady. Well, looks like they got. Well, they're making people agree to have their tents thrown away to be able to get a hotel room. But I'm not exactly sure what their plan is for her because she clearly has mental health issues. And too much stuff too. Well, they said that she had too much stuff, and then she sat down. I don't think she's going to go without her stuff. Yeah. Since she already had her tent on. And these people from, they're from mental health? Well, the green vest over there, the two green vests, you know, the one with the colorful braids? Yeah. And then the green uh, fishing hat. Their department says, do our department of mental health out. Okay. So, um, in St. Joseph. And then the van that just pulled up is five. I guess that's the van they're going to send people in. And the other green shirts, that's St. Joseph's. And then the other people are sanitary. Okay. Oh, the orange is Clean Harbors, which is a hazmat, but they are independent contractors. Okay. As a lot of them. Can you tell us the, uh, the guy from Chicago story? Oh, um, uh, the, the guy, I forget his name. I don't know why I don't remember his name, but he is an artist down here a long, long time. When the sheriffs were here, he agreed to get, a, I guess, a bus to Chicago. So they were giving away one-way tickets to wherever. They, Because the first question they asked you is, where are you from? Well, yeah, he's from Chicago, but he's been here like 20-some years, which is crazy. But they gave him a ticket to Chicago, and a few days later he came back because it was so bad. Wow. So there you go. Okay, thank you. Chicago, the sheriff gave a ticket to. And he went to Chicago and he came right back. They took all their shoes. Oh, are they taking them to the Cadillac? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's close. Yeah. And that's people watch her.
Hey, how you doing, my friend? Okay. Okay, did they bother you? No. Okay. Oh, I got you. Fire hazard. I got you. All right, thanks. Yeah. Just so you know, Mike, just so you know. No, that's cool. Okay. Can you were saying? No, I'm saying there's all types of different homeless people out here, too. There's people that actually really want the help and just getting stipulations and stuff, you know. And then also there's other people, travelers, or, or they live out of their, their vehicles. A lot of people that live in their vehicles are not like junkies, they're not felons, they're not criminals. You know, I'm like myself, uh, I work out of my, my van. Can we see your art? Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful, man. It's a joke, man, skating the ball. Wow, I thought it was that's funny. great, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Man. Acrylic on wood canvas. Unbelievable. Man. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, all, all uh, there's like and that one? different. Uh, that's a Beetlejuice piece. Well, you made this, huh? Yeah, yeah, acrylic painting. Wow, it's beautiful. Scary guys are in the bomb. That's why it's funny. Uh, do you have like a website? Yeah, Casey Ray 420. So, so people can go to, go there yeah, and buy yeah. it, or they can uh, hit me up. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and negotiate. Just Shit. go. Just go to the website and your, your email's there. Yeah, it's an Instagram. Casey okay. Ray, at Casey Ray 420. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, saying that uh, not everybody is, is a criminal. I'm a veteran. Uh, I don't have any kind of record and stuff. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here. You I'm know, here. and 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 most of the time I just get discriminated because maybe I have a beard. Or I, or I, I do uh, work out of my van and live out of my van and stuff. I'm not like subject to the rent and what have you, you know. Well, I get really mad when people they put all the homeless as one. That's not true. It's all. Yeah, it's not. No. There's there's a lot of people that just don't want help. Somebody it, messed them up. Yeah, but, so but severe, I'm, and they their option is just to take drugs. Yeah, my, I'm I'm for the ones that want help. Also, they the cops ain't really prosecuting anybody other the the. The DA's not really prosecuting anybody. They'll say uh, you can have a weapon and threaten to kill somebody, and it still is not criminal. Yeah. You know, they take away terroristic threats and just say it's criminal, and the elements didn't add up for a criminal uh, threat. You know what I mean? That's the new DA, or, right? or Yeah, or vandalism. You know, people walk up and down the street all, all the time just vandalizing other people's automobiles, and nobody feels safe. You know, and the cops doesn't, they don't come out and uh, arrest those vandalizers. Yeah, because I guess the new DA. Okay. Yeah, they don't, they're not prosecuting no. people. No. That's it, why it, it's criminal. It's the, it's dereliction of their duty. Well, there's a recall on him right now anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, man, I see your stuff all wow. the time. I think y'all are great doing...
Did you guys, anybody see what happened? Anybody see what happened? To see if you saw what happened. Yeah, so what was the call you responded to? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to ask you that. 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 Taking my video on the fly side. He's trying to be slick and do video of us. <laughs> you know, 
he, he doesn't have to hide. He's trying to do a video on the, on the, on the slide side. Name is Tony Vera, media, well known. Tony Vera, V E R A, well known. Media. You don't have to you don't have to be slick. Just take just take the video. I don't care. No, 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 I'm medium, man. You can't tell me what I am. You can laugh all you want, man. We don't know him, but he's all right. So I appreciate it. Tony Bear is my name, man. My name is Tony Bear. Look, right. look me up. Appreciate it. All right, sir. He's medium, right. so you, you, you may not, you may not believe it, but I am. Fox News, TMZ, ABC, NBC, you name it, BBC. Huh? You can't tell me? No. They have a contract with them. You just can't tell the person business. I know. Yeah, I got you. You know, you're really nice enough to bring the bike back. And her purse. And her purse. And that falls the marijuana in it. Well, that's great. Well, that well, they, they, they she has a medicine. She has a yeah, for that. Oh, yeah, of course she does. They can't take the weed. No. She's probably taking it for her. Because she wasn't. Uh, so they said. Yeah, get that, get that, that license. 